Hey guys, this is Nerf Squeezer, uh, YouTube screen name Moshe T, and uh, we've got an unboxing for you today. Um, uh, this is a couple things that I picked up at Macworld uh, this week, and I wanted to do an unboxing before I got around to the review. Um, you guys get unboxings uh, that the guys uh, from my our other site that I write for, buymeaniphone.com, don't. They get uh, the reviews only, and <clears throat> I do the unboxings. Uh, for you guys uh, to give you a little bit more insight to the product as to uh, Instead of just a review. So I've got uh, two products. The first one is a real simple product guys This is um, a headphone splitter. Okay, and I picked this up because I thought it was pretty unique um, It has individual volume control. So as opposed to the other headphone splitters that typically just um, it, you know, they just split the sound and the volume that your iPod or your MP3 player is on or your iPhone, uh, each person has to listen to the same volume. Uh, this one has individual volume controls up on top. So we're going to uh, review this and kind of take it out of the, the packaging a little bit here and kind of see what kind of quality it is. Um, it seems like a neat little item and I picked it up because I haven't seen anything quite like it before. And when I saw it, I always, I kind of wondered, well, why hasn't anyone done that? Um, I know that that's a problem for you guys that, that share your uh, iPod and MP3 player with others. And excuse me for the funny angle, guys, but the box that I'm going to open up next is uh, kind of big. So I've, I'm working on a little bit of a different angle today, as you can probably tell. So anyway, that's the, uh, the adapter that goes into your uh, iPhone or iPod or other MP3 player. There's two... There's two holes, one on either side. And as you can see, it's kind of funny because that hole goes all the way through. So each person plugs their headphone in. And then there's individual volume control for each headphone jack. Headphone jack. So that's going to be interesting. So we'll do a review on that too. Um, it's a very simple product, but I, I thought it was pretty unique. So we're going to kind of check that out. Hey, this other product is a product come from Vesta Life. And you might have heard of them before. Uh, they've made the uh, the Butterfly uh, MP3 or iPod dockable, MP3 dockable um, speaker system. This is the Butterfly. Okay, uh, it's a speaker dock for your iPod, and it kind of looks like a picture frame. And uh, it's kind of a cool product. We went to their press conference um, when we were at MacWorld, so I wanted to unbox this for you guys. Okay, um, again, it's Vesta Life. I believe their website is vestalife.com. If that's not right, I will make sure that I get that. It's uh, Vesta-Life. And there's their, their website there, vesta-life.com. Okay. And looking on this, it has uh, charge and play, charge and play iPod universal docks, uh, power, power button with light up indicator, inter interchangeable face plates, volume level control, uh, AV out, USB auxiliary in, and a flip out stand. So we're going to see what's in this package, and then uh, you'll see the review on this uh, in a couple of days, I'm sure. Okay. So uh, the first thing that I notice is, is they uh, include um, 30 free uh, MP3s. So if you register your product and you get five free downloads a month for the next six months, and it's at no cost, but you know that'll be have to be more detailed obviously and so there's the uh, user's manual um, and the free downloads okay, then it comes with three interchangeable face plates uh, this is a green face plate okay, so let's kind of take that out okay, there's a and again guys sorry I'm working on kind of a different angle here so excuse the framing problems there's a green face plate and the next is a blue faceplate. Let's see if we can't get this one open. That's kind of taped funny. Oh, there we go. Okay, there's a blue faceplate. Here are the docking stations. Okay, I'm assuming those are all the docking stations. Okay. Let 
they package those quite well. So it looks like there's uh, six or seven docking stations. So this one, see if they mark them. Okay, well they don't mark them, but we'll, we'll go through the instructions. That looks like it's a classic iPod Classic docking station. That looks like a first generation uh, Nano, first or second generation. Uh, this looks like a third generation Nano, the, the short fat ones. Um, this looks like a thicker classic and another classic, maybe one's an iPhone. So uh, we'll check that out. Okay. So there's your docking stations. Comes with your AC cord. This looks like the auxiliary cord. Uh, that way you can use it with uh, an iPod shuffle or some non-iPod related MP3 player. Let's see, that's pretty good on camera there. Okay. And then we've got the unit. Okay. So, as you can see, it comes with the uh, red faceplate on it. Okay, it's got your volume up, volume down buttons, your power button, uh, the two uh, speakers up top, 30 pin connector here in the back, okay. your uh, DC in, your AV out, your auxiliary in, and your USB. So uh, we'll have to uh, dig in depth into this a little bit. AV out uh, suggests that uh, you could probably hook it up to uh, a home theater system or something like that. Auxiliary in obviously would be some uh, non iPod related uh, MP3 player or your iPod shuffle and your USB. So I'm not sure what the USB is for, but we'll check that out. So, um, and you can see guys from the design how they get the name the butterfly. It does look like a butterfly and the two speakers look like the antenna. So.